When the marketing campaign started for James Mangold's Logan, black and white images were released by the director and star Hugh Jackman, leaving many fans wondering if the movie was actually going to be in black and white. That didn't turn out to be the case, but now Mangold has revealed on Twitter that fans will be able to see a black and white version of Logan on a special theatrical release on Tuesday, May 16th. On Twitter, Mangold said, Suggestion, hardcore B&W loving Logan fans should not make any plans on the evening of May 16th, won't be on a TV. TV. And the answer is no. To make a great BNW version of a film, the whole thing's got to be regraded and timed shot by shot. Christian, what do you think about a black and white version for Logan in theaters? Uh, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's, that's fun to do for fans. I mean, and I don't know if they necessarily had to put all the time and effort to do it for one night, but the fact that they're doing it, cool. I think it actually fits the style of the movie fairly well, but I don't think anybody was necessarily asking for it, but... Are you pretty sure nobody was asking for it? Or <laughs> you think close close to definite. Close to definite nobody was asking for it. Close to definite. That I, don't, I didn't know anyone else that was asking for it. Yeah. Um, eh, it's, look, it's a marketing gimmick. It's completely a marketing gimmick because this is not being done to have a special one night in theater. This is being done as another way to promote the home video release of the movie. That's all it is. It is a marketing stunt. It's a marketing gimmick. Personally, I thought Logan was a beautiful looking film. The way they used their color palette, the way they used all that richness, I thought when it was muted, when it was rich, when it was dense, when it was thin, I just thought it was a gorgeous film. And to just take the color out and re-release it, it is nothing more than a marketing gimmick. That's why it's being released when it's being released, but it's a really smart one because it's getting everybody talking about it again. It's going to bring all the attention back to this movie, uh, attention that this movie completely deserves. So it's nothing but a marketing gimmick, but to me it's a brilliant marketing gimmick. What do you think? Well, John, take my hand and walk down this road with me because there's <laughs> another marketing gimmick where they eliminated colors from a movie that I thought really enjoyed having that palette, and that was Mad Max Fury Road. They re-released it in theaters in black and white, and I didn't see it, but people who saw it said it was amazing. It was like, they're like, oh, this is the way that it should have been released the first time. I wouldn't say that, but it's interesting that they do that with these movies that seem to have the same feel. Like this dystopian Western vibe that we're going for. Oh, let's put that movie in black and white. I think it's kind of cool. It's different. If you're one of the lucky people that's going to see it that night, just don't be that guy at the bar for the rest of your life where it's like, oh, you didn't see Logan in black and white. You're not a real fan unless you saw Logan in black and white. You don't need to see it, but cool.